Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, today I'm here with my deck profile for uh, the Pennsylvania Regional. It just was yesterday. Um, I played Goki. I got top 48. Um, placed 26 out of 460 something. Played against, uh, let's see, Sk round one Sky Striker, round two McKnight and Vogues, round three Sky Striker, round four Altergeist, round five Thunder Dragon, round six Thunder Dragon, round seven Thunder Dragon. Round eight Sky Striker and round nine Goki Mirror. Um, went seven and two. I lost to Altergeist round four, game three because of time. Uh, round five I lost to Thunder Dragon, game three because I bricked like it was bad. Um, overall, I think the deck was the correct choice because when the format with there's like. A plethora of FTKs and just degenerate um, combos and whatnot. I thought this deck would just be better because, like, I mean, if you go first against pretty much like FTK, Mirror, um, Sky Striker, a lot, pretty much everything, um, you just win. Uh, but yeah, played Goki, and let's get into the deck profile. So to start things off. Got a uh, two Goki Octa Stretch. One headbat, one twist, and one suprex. You don't need any more Gokis anymore. Um, this is literally it. This, yeah, some sorcerers fire all that nonsense. You don't need it anymore. Then played a three Armageddon, three Dark Greffer, and three Mally. <laughs> kind of self-explanatory. A lot of the Dark Goki decks. This is like what you need. Uh, this is really similar. This list is really similar to Gabriel Vargas's from YCS Niagara, but I uh, changed a few things and I think it worked out pretty well. Uh, Mally's broken. <laughs> Greffer is probably the best, uh, the better out of the two though. I like Armageddon Knight and yeah, because I also play like the Dangers. Three, uh, three Suchinoko and uh, two Jackalope. I didn't play Nessie because uh, I couldn't afford him. Um, and uh, I had no else that I could borrow them from. And honestly, I'm happy with this because the all these guarantee me like guaranteed summons. Whereas like Nessie, if, if like I summon it, draw a card. Um, in testing, we were I was playing Nessie, summon it, draw a card, get drolled, and like okay, pass. Um, then I just lose, or it gets discarded. I search, I get drolled, and then I'm kind of just sad. I don't know, I just didn't want it to be, I wanted to be less susceptible to hand traps, and I thought this was the correct way to go. Um, then played, uh, Aqua Dolphin, only one Aqua Dolphin. You summon an Elfai Sold, uh, just play three equips, and it's honestly really broken. Because, like, not only does it discard hand traps, but if you draw your Mally, you can, like, pitch it from your hands, and then you have your Mally engraved for your to combo. <laughs> So yeah, um, Dolphin's broken. Sorry. Uh, then I played one Silent Boots, Phantom Knight Silent Boots, uh, Search uh, Shade Brigadine, one Junk Forward. Um, I like the one Junk Forward because like if you draw it, it's just a free summon. And then I, uh, if you don't draw it, I usually search it off I sold because you only play one. And let's say like they break your board, you have a follow-up play next turn. Or you just want more cards to be able to discard for uh, Gumblar. Then of course Ibley, yeah. Uh, no hand traps because hand traps are bad in the main deck for this deck now. Spells triple instant. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's just an extender. Played four protection cards, two magical midbreaker field, and two call by the grave. Um, I never drew this like at all. Game one, two, and three. Uh, anyway matches. <laughs> yeah, never drew call by the grave. Midbreaker was dumb. Um, really happy with this card. I don't think I would up the number just because I drew it, like, just enough. And I didn't ever brick on it. So, yeah. Uh, then played, uh, one rematch. You know, you're not playing very many Gokis anymore. Um, so you only need the one rematch. And you don't want to brick on it. Three equips. Uh, Phoenix Blade, DDR, and Living Fossil. Three, the best three ones. Um, Reborn. If you Armageddon Knight, send Mally, banish Mally to summon Mally, and then they Ash it, you can DDR back the Mally, and then keep comboing, and then Phoenix Blade's Phoenix Blade. 
Broken one ofs, reborn, god charge, soul charge, yeah, uh, and reinforcement of the army. This card's literally stupid. I won my round nine matchup because of this card, and not just that matchup, but like ridiculous other numbers. I think I drew this once every match, and every time I saw it in my hand, even if I bricked, it was just a win. And then last three cards in the main deck. Three Phantom Rites of Shade Brigadine. That's uh, just another extender. No, main deck was 40 cards. I think the uh, refined number is the correct way to go about this deck. Um, I don't like 50, 60, anything beyond like 40. Um, yeah. Extra deck. Two I sold. I don't think I don't think I'll ever play without two I sold again. Um, for a while I was playing with I was just testing with the one. But you get you play against people who don't really know what they're doing, and they um, like Valor or Impermanence your I sold summon search effect, and uh, you have like an extender you can summon the extender and then make the second I sold so you can get your summon effect. So uh, really really good. Um, two Nightmare Mermaid, uh, two Cerberus. Let me get them real quick. One Phoenix and one Unicorn. I like two servers because, like, when you're doing your combo, uh, like, you even if you mess up, you, I don't know, it just works. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it. It works. Uh, there were some times I did wish I had two Phoenix over two servers because if I play against Sky Striker or Altergeist, but I wasn't really, I don't know. I wasn't expecting it to last more than one turn, so I wasn't too worried. And it didn't. Uh, and then double mermaid I think is the right way to go because there's some lists that only play the one mermaid and I think it's incorrect because when you're doing your combo and you end on two mermaid in the extra monster zones everything's down 2000 so like mermaid mermaid Cerberus and your extra link they're not breaking it unless they're playing thunder dragon in which case cool they kill one monster they're still under they have to get rid of the Ibli first some way so like tribute it and then they kill one monster I'm like okay what then? You're still extra length and you have like one card in hand. And that one card in hand is all because of this horrible, horrible card. Uh, Topologic Gumbler Dragon. This card is actually broken. Um, the way the combo's done now, even if you um, brick Gumbling for four and then possibly five if you're able to resolve a Dolphin, that's literally stupid. That is so broken. I don't agree with that. I just this card needs to go away. Just like this card does. Firewall Dragon. This card's cancer. I have never seen a more hated card since Norden in plus seven zoo format. That needs to die. Uh Trigate Wizard, because it's not Goki. Summon Sork honestly causes a lot more problems. Uh now. I I just Ugh, there's so many broken cards in this format. Binary Sork. It's just the replacement for Goblin. And, and I don't like Proxy Dragon. Link Karibo. Yeah. And then Institution Target. Invoke Dragon. It's Book of Moon. Um, play against uh, Stun Dex. And you Instant Fusion the Raijin. And you book the Inspector Border. Or if you play against Thunder Dragon. And you just book uh, the Titan. Or Colossus or whatever they have in their main monster zone. Uh, side Deck. Three Ghost Reaper. I was super happy I played this. Um, yeah, I'll get more into that later. Uh, three Droll and Lockbird. This card was MVP. Um, yeah. Three Eclipse. Uh, Ultra Geist going second, so you put their stuff down. They can't protocol you. Or if they have, like, multi faker or Um... Yeah, just put it down, and then you can combo. Oops. Three Twin Twisters. Uh, it's just back row decks. Last three cards on the side, three red reboot. Overall, um, I think the deck did really well. I'm really happy with the way uh, I performed. I performed. Uh, I got a few shoutouts. Shoutout to my friend Cameron Kramer. He uh, gave me these sleeves. <laughs> I showed up to the event needing sleeves, and he's like, bro, I got you. I'm pretty sure it was the luck from these sleeves that 
I did well. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, super cool sleeves. And then shout out to uh, Jared Zimmerman. He let me use the Danger Suchinoko, two of the Danger Suchinokos, so I could play this deck. Uh, he also talked with me, to, talk with me to play this deck. I was gonna play BA for this event, and he's like, "No, man, it's Philly. There's a bunch of FDK decks. You gotta play Goki." I was like, "All right, sure." Played it. Super happy. Um, shout out to my team, the squad. Uh, shout out to all my friends at home. And uh, oh yeah, that thing I was gonna talk about. So round nine, when I played against the Goki Mirror, I went first game one. I started doing the combo with like I sold, I summoned Dolphin, discarded Mally off the Dolphin effect, and he scoops immediately. So I'm thinking in my head, okay, if he doesn't want me to see his hand, he's either playing um, Goki Mirror or the FTK, one of the FTK decks. So I was like, okay, I sided, I blindsided in three Reaper, three to roll. I was like, whatever, if he's not playing it, I'll go to game three and then just Gumblar extra link him. Uh, and if he is playing it, I get a free win. Game two, he goes first, my opening hand. Reaper, Jackalope, Headbat, Reborn, Soul Charge. He was playing Goki. He starts doing the combo when he has Summon Sorceress, Phoenix, and then a Goki monster. I was like, after you summon Phoenix, Reaper the Firewall. He's like, oh... Link Sorkin that into the Gumblar, Monster Reborn, Octa Stretch next to here. And then he goes, uh, Gumblar Effect. I discard two cards. I discard the Jackalope and Headbat. I use Jackalope to summon the Snake. And then he passes. I go draw for turn. I draw Armageddon Knight. I'm like, oh, this is lit. Set Soul Charge because I was trying to get him to bait the, Ar the Gumblar. Because as soon as he did, I was breaking his whole field apart. And sure enough, I set a card, and he's like, after you set one card, Gumblar. Uh, Tribute Doctor Stretch summon Link Kribo. Uh, discards two cards out of his hand. He has no hand anymore. And then I discard Armageddon Knight and Reborn. I was like, cards in hand. He said, none. I'm like, do you have anything else left on the... I look at his graveyard. He's got nothing. I'm like, cool. Flip Soul Charge. He extends the hand. I'm like, boom, I win. <laughs> yeah, that was probably my favorite matchup of the day. It was great. Um, yeah, so that's the deck profile, guys. Uh, talk to you later. Peace.